you know what, the chicken is right. This is pretty evenly spread. Here there's a big chunk with no chicken. Well done, chicken. There you go. Smart. Hello, all you pizza lovers out there. New pizza that I'm trying today. Uh, I think they call it the Veneziana. I'm not sure. Why did I not research this before? I just forgot. It was on the app. And yeah, my memory. I'm getting old. So, basically, it's a white pizza. So, it has a pesto base, which already, pesto is a nice word. And chicken, uh, is it tomatoes, peppers, artichokes? You can see the bits of artichokes. Three types of cheeses, whatever they may be. I'm sure it's mozzarella and uh, two others. There's Parmesan. There's that nice, nice pizza tent. Mm. All right, let's go, let's go. Let's uh, start with this. Sorry, sorry. Pesto chicken pizza, as you can see. Let's go. Delicious. Mm. Mm. Big uh, artichoke right here. Let's. Mm. It works. It just does. Haven't had artichoke in years, actually. And everything works on this pizza. Seriously, like you can't quite see the sauce, but it's it's a pesto sauce, so no tomato, no pomodoro. So they call it, you know, it's a white pizza, basically. The crust is also like a little doughier than the other ones, like a little fluffier, a little a little like cloud almost. But a nice a little bit of garlic and herbs like you can see I should have worn like a more classier shirt or something because this this makes me feel a little more sophisticated Let me tell you, the artichoke works. You got some uh, bigger pieces, but there's like the uh, things, not slices, but you know, a little bit. And not something you would think about, right? Especially if you're complimenting a pizza and you're like, the artichokes, they were nice, but they are.
So one thing that I was a little afraid of, if you will, was that the pizza would be a little dry because of the pesto base. I don't think they would put that much. And, you know, the pesto is not tomato sauce. And I don't think you can see it, but it kind of uh, goes into the dough a bit. It kind of gets absorbed much easier than the tomato sauce would. But while it is a little drier or not as uh, moisturized as if it had tomato sauce, it's still nice. And the uh, little slices of artichoke a little bit everywhere act like a, like a slippery, you know how we are, it's like kind of like a slippery little uh, more hydrated bits throughout. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. You know what? The chicken is right. This is pretty evenly spread. Here there's a big chunk with no chicken. Well done, chicken. There you go. Smart. Oh, there's another one. Feels bigger than the other ones for some reason. And that's fine by me.
think most people would really be a fan of this pizza. <clears throat> and maybe the only ingredient you'd be like, hmm, is the artichokes, but they work really good. Like, I like artichokes fine. But last time I ate artichokes, must have been 2010 maybe because we were at home and they bought artichokes they could have bought artichokes anytime after I've seen them at the store I never actually thought or oh yeah but they work really good here so most people would definitely enjoy this Top three pizza on this channel. Now I know uh, a bunch of them have been like different types of uh, frozen ones, so clearly they wouldn't compare to like a proper restaurant one, but even still. Number three, number two, I know what my number one is, it's four meats. That will be in the end here. And maybe number two, I'm trying to think of number three and I'll see maybe after. Anyway. Top three. Go get it if you're magically teleported to where I live. Alright, bye.